Hey guys, we are going to be rounding some decimals and I hope you're really excited about it. You've probably been looking forward to it all day. Okay, so sometimes the hardest thing about rounding decimals is knowing where they want you to round to, right? So it can be like, oh, what's the hundredth? What's the thousandth? Guess what? I made you a chart. You are so welcome, okay? So we have 2,586.547, okay? Now these you're probably very familiar with, thousands, hundreds, tens, ones, right? After the decimal place, the first spot is called our tenths. Okay. Second spot after the decimal is called our hundredths. Third place is called our thousandths. Now this keeps going this way, right? Just like it keeps going that way, but I just happened to stop right there. Okay. So one way that helps me remember is that like the tenths is one spot after the decimal is I think 10 has one zero. And so this is one place after the decimal. Hundreds has two zeros. So it's two places after. Okay. That's what helps me. If that helps you, great. If not, come up with your own way to help you remember. Okay. All right. So this one, they want us to round to the nearest hundredth. Okay. Hundred has two zeros. So that means they want one, two after the decimal place. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when we round, we figure out how many numbers they want, right? They want two after the decimal place. Then we look at the one behind it. Okay. That is what determines if this will stay a four or go up to a five, okay? So if the number is from zero to four, this number stays the same. If it is five to nine, you round this number up, okay? So since ours is a four, this number is going to stay a four, okay? So I'm gonna have 125.44. So this is that number rounded, okay? Next one wants to the nearest thousandth. Thousand has, 1,000 has three zeros, right? So they want three numbers after the decimal place, okay? So this is either going to stay a seven or go up to an eight, okay? So we look at the one behind. It's a five. Anything five and above, we round this number up. So this seven is going to become an eight for our rounding purposes. So 316.8. Eight, eight. Okay, hopefully that made sense. And uh, yeah, bye. <laughs>